welcome to my channel, A Handful of Daisies DIY. Today's video is all about baskets. And yes, I have a thing for baskets, so you'll see we have about five to go through today. So I'll, I hope you'll stick with me through all five. Each one will be different and unique in its own way. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. We have lots more thrift store videos coming up. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here's a look at our first basket. Of course, we're going to be painting it. The colors we're going to use is going to, it's going to be plaster and mineral. And it is Waverly chalk paint. I'm just going to go through and paint the whole basket. I'm not worried about getting full coverage. So I'm not getting all the way down in all of those grooves of the weaves of the basket. You know, all of these projects we're doing today are very easy to do. I hope watching this today, it'll inspire you to try one on your own. And I never seem to put enough paint on my plate. So I always have to go back and add more. But I'd rather just have to add more than have too much. And then just you're wasting your paint. I am going to paint the bottom and the inside. Um, I do resell all of my items. So I want to make sure that everything is complete. I have a craft fair coming up in June, so I have a ton of projects to work on for that. So I'll have a lot more videos coming with all of these projects. So I hope you'll make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of those videos. As I go through making all these baskets, I would love to know how you would DIY them. Um, let me know in the comments below. Now we're just adding in the mineral just to give it a little um, darker tone. And it wasn't coming out exactly the way I wanted it to. So I did um, get my antiquing wax and use a little of that to go over it as well. Just to give it a little bit darker tone. But you'll see I go back um, because I feel like I put too much on it. Um, I'll go back and add a little bit more of that plaster on top of it just to tone that down a little bit. So... You just have to change it up as you go and see what it looks like. And then if you don't like it, just go back and change it. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Trust me, I've had my fair share of failed DIY projects. I've either just tried them over or put them to the side and went to something else. And I did just do that on the outside. So I'm impatient. So I pulled out the hair dryer and started drying it up a little bit. Next, I'm taking um, this ribbon that I had in my stash. And I'm just hot gluing it around the center. Now, I tried this on the top and on the bottom and then I decided I liked it best in the center. Again you just have to try out different things until you figure out what you like best. Now of course the daisies were a little too white for me so I did take my paintbrush and go over them a little bit just to darken them a little bit so they weren't stark white. 
Now that you see this basket does have an indention in the front, I am going to make just a simple bow. And full disclosure, I am not a bow maker. I am horrible at making bows. So I did see someone else um, DIYing. And they made this simple bow and it looked pretty easy. So I thought I'd try it out. So let's see how it turns out. I am using a uh, floral wire to attach the bow to the basket. I didn't want to use hot glue because I, I was afraid it wouldn't stay on. Then I'm just going to take another one of those daisies and put it in, in the center just because it looked like it was missing something there. And here's a look at how it turned out. So here's our second basket. I really like this one. I really like the wood handles. So again, we're going to paint it. I'm using Waverly Chalk Paint in ink. And let me just tell you, if you're going to do full coverage paint on a basket like this, go get some spray paint because it is so hard to paint in the little crevices of the weave of the basket. Wasn't able to spray paint today because, of course, in Virginia, you never know what the weather's going to be like. We had beautiful weather, and then all of a sudden this morning it's 24 degrees and windy. So, of course, I couldn't go outside and spray paint. So, here we are painting and more painting and more painting. But it does turn out in the end. Now again, I'm doing the inside and the bottom of the basket. And it takes me quite a while to, to get this thing painted. I did go back two or three times trying to fill in spaces that I missed. Every time I looked at it, I saw there was a place I missed. And I did end up using quite a bit of paint for this project. Now, I don't always use the chalk paint. Um, sometimes I'll just use regular latex house paint, and it works just as well. Um, chalk paint just tends to be a little bit thicker, and you get a little bit better coverage. Normally, it only takes one coat um, with the chalk paint. So, yes, here we are still painting this basket. Good thing is it dries, the Waverly chalk paint dries pretty fast. Of course, I break out my hair dryer. You can use a heat gun or a hair dryer. But I did get that hair dryer at the thrift store as well for $2. Now I'm going in with um, the white, the plaster. And I'm just going to dry brushing it along because I really want that black to shine through. I'm really just trying to distress it. Now it looked really good, just black. But I am going to be using a Buffalo Check ribbon for this basket. Um, so I thought if I added the white, um, it would look a little bit better with it. It would match a little more, plus it would be a little bit more rustic. So I love these wood handles, but of course, me being me, I'm going to paint them. So I'm just painting them with the white chalk paint. And not really worrying about full coverage on that because I am going to go over it with a dry brush of the black to distress that down a little bit. And making sure to get up underneath the handle as well. Let me know in the comments below what you think about painting baskets. Do you tell me if you like just the 
the plain um, wicker in the basket. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. So here we go again with the bow. Now I have tried to make those beautiful bows like I see everyone else make before and they just don't work out for me. There has to be some secret that I'm missing. So please let me know in the comments below if there's a secret. Now I don't know if you can read my t-shirt or not, but due to the cold weather today, I do have my winter t-shirt on instead of the normal spring that I was hoping to get out. And sweatpants, of course. You have to be comfortable when you're crafting. I actually have a sign in my craft room that says my happy place, and it truly is. So if you haven't tried crafting, you should try it. It can be really relaxing. And it's a great way to turn off all the craziness that we're in today. So this bow was missing something in the middle as well. So I had this white bead that I thought would look good on it. So I just added that. And here's a look at how it turned out. So basket number three. This basket came with a liner. Um, I did take that out. I'm not sure if I'm going to put that back in or not. So we're just using the color plaster uh, and Waverly chalk paint on this one as well. And I'm doing a really light coat across it because I really want that basket to come through. This one really had a nice color, a ni nice dark color. Now in this basket, I am not painting the inside. I did paint all the way around and on the bottom and a little bit on the handles. So I wasn't sure what I was going to put on this basket. It, it looked really plain, so I needed to find something. I had this floral in my stash that I got from Dollar Tree quite a while back. So I thought it would be perfect for this basket. So I'm just cutting it down. I just want the top portion. And then I'm going to add um, the little embellishments that were farther down on the stem. I'm going to hot glue it to the basket and then add hot glue those embellishments back on it. And I was really surprised that I found this at the Dollar Tree because it's a really pretty floral. It's almost like a um, dried flower. And it reminds me of um, the wooden flowers. And it did turn out really pretty on this basket. I'm also adding some of the green stems on there as well, just to cover up that plain stem. And I think this might be uh, one of my favorites. Um, here's a look at how it turned out. On to basket number four. Again, we're painting. This basket had a really reddish color, and I didn't really like that color, so I'm trying to cover it up as much as I can without doing just a full white coverage. So it's a little bit heavier than what I would normally do. And I am doing the inside and the bottom on this basket. Now I'm not going to do the handle because I'm going to wrap the handle. 
Here I am impatient, so I have to use my hair dryer to dry it. So I felt like it still needed a little something, so I took my antiquing wax and just went around the rim just to give it a little bit more color. So I'm using the nautical rope from Dollar Tree and it comes twisted with three strands. So I'm just untwisting it because I didn't want it as thick as it comes. But it took a while to get it unraveled because it was pretty long and I didn't want to cut it because I wanted it to go all the way across. So I'm just going to start it out by hot gluing the end and then I'll just keep wrapping it around and then I'll hot glue it in just certain spots just to hold it down so it doesn't unravel. And after you do this for a little while you finally figure out an easier way to wrap that. But I just thought this nautical rope gave it a, a little something extra. I tell you, most of my DIY projects never end up the way I planned them in the beginning. I think that's just how it is when you DIY. You change it as you go. Because as you're working on a project, you don't, you don't realize what it's going to look like until you start working on it. So luckily, I have a lot of stash of different things in my craft room that I can pull from. I'm just hot gluing that in to secure it down and then where I started on the end and had to chain, add more rope that was coming loose a little bit so I did hot glue that again. So when I finished all of that I decided it's still missing something. So I, of course I had something in my stash. I pulled this out. I got this from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was really pretty. Orange is my favorite color, but of course we're going to paint it. I'm just using that white chalk paint. And I'm going to have to put two coats to cover the orange. Now I think this orange would be really pretty on a basket, um, but it wasn't going to match this basket. The paint in my tray was getting a little thick. So it was covering it pretty well. But once I dried it a little bit and the orange was still coming through, I did go back and add another coat. And I did pull the petals up on this before I started painting it. You have to be really careful because if you pull them all the way up, they may snap off. I have had that happen before. You guys, this hairdryer is great, but I understand why someone didn't want it anymore. It only has one setting and that's high and hot.
So of course I'm going to distress the flower as well. So I'm using my antiquing wax to distress it. I wanted it to somewhat match the basket, but I am leaving more of the white showing through. I didn't want it to look like a dead flower, so I still wanted that white to be pretty, pretty bright. So after that, I pushed all, everything back down, and then I got a baby wipe, um, and I wanted to mute down that dark color a little bit, so the baby wipe just helped me to wipe off um, a little bit of it, so I'm still getting that white come through really well. Let me know what you think about it. What color would you have used? So this flower did have holes on, in, on two of the ends. So I'm using floral wire to hook it to the basket. Again, because the hot glue wouldn't have held. And since I do resell these, I didn't want it falling off. I do have a vendor booth at By the Season in Salem, Virginia, and that's where a lot of my DIYs go. And here's what, how it turned out. So on to basket number five. This is the last basket. And here are all the things I'm going to use for this basket. Well, maybe. So again, I'm using the plaster paint on this basket and I am just kind of dry brushing it because the color on this basket was really pretty as well. And this basket was a little wonky. Um, it was dripping in the bottom and a, a little sideways, but I, but I think that's what gives it a little character. I love the metal on the bottom. And I'm not doing anything on that because it looked really worn and that's what I wanted it to look like. I couldn't have got a better finish trying to use paint on that. You can see I'm having to push down the bottom away from that metal just to get it painted. So whoever owned this basket before definitely used it. I'm going to put that to the side and then I'm going to make just a little sign for the front of this basket. So I'm taking just two long popsicle sticks and I'm hot gluing them together and then I'm going to paint them with the plaster paint. I'm just painting one side because the other side will be against the basket. And I am going to distress it because I distress everything. Now once that dries, I'm going to put these decals on. I made these with my silhouette. Um, I do have these in my online store and I'll have that link below if you're interested in these decals. I do offer a lot of different decals. 
but I thought these would work really well on this project. So of course I'm going to go over and distress that as well because I didn't want that black to, to stand out. Um, I wanted some distress on that as well. Now I'm also taking this tool. It's a tool that came in a jewelry making kit. It's got a really sharp point on the end. So I was able to punch holes so I can put that floral wire through it. And here we go again. I had this ribbon all ready to use and I hated it. So I'm not using it. Again, you never know on your projects how it's going to work out. You change your mind in the middle. So I'm just going to fasten this floral wire through the basket and tie it off really tight. Now as I put it on here, because the basket was so wonky anyway, I'm not putting it in the center. I'm, I'm off centering it and making it a little sideways so it kind of matches the basket. So instead of the ribbon, I decided to use this jute rope. And I did get this at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to hot glue that all the way around the edges. And you see my little rubber finger laying there on the table, but of course I'm not using it. And this glue is really hot, so you have to be so careful with it. I have burned my fingers so many times, but obviously I haven't learned my lesson. So I'm just going to cut it off and hot glue it right into that other piece. And here's how it turned out. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this DIY and which basket was your favorite. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any new thrifted DIYs I have coming up.